Hey guys, welcome to the channel here at 88 Rotors Off-Road and welcome back to the shop. We've been getting quite a few messages from people asking us for more videos. I do apologize, I try my best to edit and upload as much as I can, but we've been so busy lately. I'm not a dedicated media guy here, so I do wear many hats at the shop. But let's try to get back into the swing of things again. I'll try to post more often, maybe once a week at least, hopefully. I'll try to get around to it. We have a 4Runner and Lexus GX compilation for you guys to enjoy today. Starting off with this one, we did a King setup on here before, and now he's back with some new wheels. He decided to go with some 17x8.5 with the negative 10 offset wheels, so of course we need to do a body mount chop to clear it. We're running the 285 7017 tires on here, as you can see. Our shop, 88 Rotors, is located in the city of South Omani, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, please give us a call anytime during regular business hours or you can message us 24-7 by clicking on the link in the description to get to our contact form. With one silver 4Runner pulling out, another one comes in. This TRD Off-Road model 5th generation 4Runner is going with an Icon Stage 6 setup with tubular arms. We are installing the following components. The front gets an extended travel 2.5 VS remote reservoir coilover kit that we have adjusted to about 3 inches of lift, accompanied by a tubular delta joint upper control arm to maximize articulation and allow for the proper correction of the alignment angles. The rear gets a medium load 2 inch lift spring and is dampened by a 2.5 VS remote reservoir rear shock. This kit also comes with the both upper and lower trailing arms and the adjustable pan hard bar to adjust the track of your vehicle. The next step up from here is the Icon Stage 7. The Stage 7 has everything the Stage 6 does, but it also includes Icon CDCV shocks that allow you to fine tune them to your liking by an easy adjustment knob to adapt to each terrain or your specific driving style. All these kits have the option of tubular or billet arms. The billet arms are lighter in weight and also stronger in form. While the tubular arms have standard bushings, Icon's billet Upper control arms have heim joints, which allows for additional adjustment, not to mention how much nicer they look under there as well. Another benefit of the billet arms is that they come with a double adjuster system that allows you to adjust the length of each arm for different ride heights and pinion angles. These are on the track bar, upper and lower trailing arms, and the front upper control arms. Now that the Icon Stage 6 has been completed and installed on the vehicle, we're going to bring it down and torque the wheels and tires down to spec before we bring it out for a quick test drive. For those that are wondering, the customer came in with these wheels and tires on already. These are the Method MR316s in a 17 by 85 size with the zero offset. If I remember correctly and from the looks of this video, I believe these are 265 7017 Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. Next up, we have another 4Runner that we installed a Bilstein 6112 setup on with SPC ball joint front upper control arms. Swinging back over to the rear end, you're going to see that we installed a set of Bilstein 5100s with some Old Man Emu rear lift springs. For those that don't know what year this one is just by looking at the color, it's a 2022 model year. Being that it's a Lunar Rock and not a TRD Pro, 2022 is the first year this color was offered following 2021 when it was originally a TRD Pro exclusive color. If you watched this video in the years to come, it might be a little bit trickier to make the guess unless you know that we published this video in early 2022. And of course, that's assuming that Toyota is going to continue releasing Lunar Rock in the years to come. For the new shoes on this one, we installed a set of Method MR305s. These are the NVs in a 17 by 8 size with a zero offset in matte black. Tire of choice here are the Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws in a 285-70-17 size. This white 4Runner TRD Off-Road is sitting on a set of King Shocks. 
King 2.5 remote reservoir front and rear coilovers and shocks with old Maniemu rear lift springs, and the front did get an Icon tubular delta joint upper control arm. Here's an Icon setup that we did on this GX. We also installed CBI skid plates and their front bumper. Here's a black colored Forerunner Limited. We installed a set of Bilstein 5100s on this one with Old Man Emu lift springs. We also did some SPC ball joint upper control arms as you can see as we zoom in right here. And here's another white colored Forerunner that we installed a Bilstein 5100 setup on with Old Man Emu lift springs, SPC ball joint upper control arms, and a set of Method MR701s and some 285, 7017 BF Goodrich All Terrain KO2 tires. Here's another Forerunner that we installed a lift on previously with some field vectors and KO2 tires that we just installed an Amp Research electric sidestep on. Where are our 4th gen guys at? Next up we have this 4th generation Forerunner. This is a special edition 4 wheel drive model. We're doing a Bilstein 5100 setup on this one with Old Man Emu lift springs, SPC ball joint upper control arms, and we're installing a set of new Method MR312s on here in a 17 by 8.5 size with the zero offset. We're going to wrap those bad boys up in a 285-7017 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KL2 tire. If you guys like what you see here and want to see more, please consider following us on Instagram. We post on there daily, on our feed, our stories, and our reels. Follow us at 88 Rotors Off-Road. Once again, these are the Method MR312s in a 17 by 8.5 size with the zero offset. We usually have these in stock, both in matte black and bronze. We are a stocking dealer for Method race wheels. If you're interested in a set, reach out to us anytime. These right here are the factory shocks that we removed from the vehicle. Looks like it's time to upgrade, right? Fast forward, here are the new springs and shocks installed in the rear end. Swinging over to the front end, you can see the new suspension installed. These right here, once again, are the Bilstein 5100s with Old Man Emu lift springs and the SPC ball joint upper control arms. Well, thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. We hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell also. That way you'll get alerted the next time we post a new video. We're hoping to do so at least once a week now. So make sure to subscribe. Until then, take care, guys.